course, not even when they watch, you came with the This is Cooking in Brooklyn with Danny Milano, and I'm Danny Milano. And today, we're making cheese ravioli in a porcini tomato sauce. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Bridgeside Network, and check out our brand new Instagram and Facebook page at Cooking in Brooklyn. And while we're on the social media topic, we want to thank our paisans at Hardcore Italians for these awesome shirts. We think you guys are hysterical. Centani and salute to all the Hardcore Italians. Hey, go Bridgeside. These are the ingredients. We got some olive oil, crushed tomato sauce, white onions chopped, some salt, chopped parsley, fresh pepper, porcini mushrooms, and cheese ravioli. So we're using porcini mushrooms. These are dry porcini mushrooms, okay? A little expensive, definitely worth it. You can find them in any Italian grocery. They are imported from Italy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some warm water into the bowl of porcini mushrooms and kind of bring them to life. So we're gonna let the porcini mushrooms sit in the warm water for 10 minutes. In the meantime, let's get this pan going and we're gonna grab our olive oil. Hey, Cougine, I love your shirt. What's going on, buddy? I think it's uh, pretty accurate over here. I'm not gonna disagree. It's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna take these porcini mushrooms out. They're nice and soft now. We're gonna save this juice and you're gonna see why in just a second. I'm just gonna cut these up a little bit, Dave. What are you doing with that muddy water over there? Just told you, you're gonna see in just a second. That's got all the flavor from the porcini in here. Our oil's hot. We're gonna add our onions. I'm gonna throw those right in. Then we're gonna grab our porcini mushroom and we're gonna throw them in as well. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and then we're gonna grab our crushed tomato sauce. I'm using 12 ounces of crushed tomato sauce for a dozen ravioli. And we're gonna add this right into it. We're gonna mix that around. Now you asked before, Dave, why are we saving this water? Because we're gonna throw this water right into the sauce. Nice. It's gonna add a really nice flavor to it. The porcini mushroom's got a real nutty flavor. It's got an unbelievable aroma. And this dish is gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley to our sauce and a little bit of fresh pepper. Everything mixing, get it all flowing together here. Look at this, we got the wooden spoon. Speaking of uh, wooden spoon survivors, not only did I survive the spoon, but I survived the belt, I survived la scopa, the broom, and most important, I survived la ciapata, which is the slipper, which was heavily used by my nonna, even though I deserve it. All right, so we're gonna let this sauce sit and cook for about 25 minutes. All right, so the water's boiling. I'm gonna throw in some salt, and then we're gonna throw in our raviolis. And these are gonna cook quick, because these are actually fresh raviolis. These are frozen raviolis. If they were frozen, it might take a few minutes longer. Look at these guys. We had them popping up like bodies in the Gowanus Canal last time, and now they floated their way down to the East River. We got Giuseppe, Frankie, Giorgio. Remember Frankie? Yeah, you know, uh, he was a real cacchione, you know, he couldn't keep his mouth closed. He didn't grow up on the corner of Come Se Chiama and Stat De Zita Boulevard. And look at this, we got Jojo, degenerate gambler. Heard he couldn't pay the vig. All right, but these guys are ready. It's time for my favorite part, to put the strainer on. Of course. Not even when they watch you came with the All right, so let's strain these raviolis. All right, so let's grab our raviolis and we're gonna throw them right into the sauce. Just mix that around. So this is done. Let's grab you a dish, Dave. Don't put all of them. Put one more, you don't have to eat all of them. Grab some sauce for you, Dave. We'll garnish it with a little parsley. 
This is what I'm talking about. Ravioli and a porcini tomato sauce. This smells amazing, Dave, but I guarantee you, it's gonna taste even better. Bon appetito, Dave. Thank you very much. Get you a fork. Thank you. Dig in. The porcini mushroom's really good. It definitely adds something different to the dish, better than like just the regular tomato sauce. For you vegetarians out there, great source of protein. You know, our old friends taste so good. May they rest in peace. <laughs> May they rest in my mouth. I'm a wooden spoon survivor. Unfortunately for my friends, they didn't survive very long. Good riddance. Go Bridgeside. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the Bridgeside Network and you check out our new Facebook and Instagram page. And again, a big shout out to Hardcore Italians. You guys are awesome.